The brand new set Paradox Rift has been released with some amazing new cards. Cards that we're going to attempt to pull today out of this here booster box. And any hit I get from it will be painfully transferred from my personal Pokemon Go account. Which can include Garchomp, Salamence, Mewtwo, and more. And it all starts by cracking open this here box and seeing what's inside. Now, I've already opened up a ton of this brand new set, Paradox Rift. We've been selling it on uh, mysticrips.com and ripping it on TikTok, and we did a 500-pack opening video. So we've been, like, grinding through these packs, and we pulled kind of a lot of cool things. So I know, I know for a fact that on the inside of these packs is some pretty incredible stuff. And since this is Scarlet and Violet, well, the hit rates are really high, which means the likelihood of us pulling something absolutely incredible and transferring it is pretty high. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. Now, also in today's video, we'll be talking over things like pricing, what are the most expensive cards from this set, and what you could expect to pull from Paradox Rift. Because again, there's a lot of new cards, a lot of awesome cards, hopefully none of which we see today. Oh, yeah. But this guy right here, Garchomp could be a problem. And we have a bit of a new rule in these transfer challenges. If we pull a gold card out of Paradox Rift, we gotta transfer a shiny version of that Pokemon. So let's hope. Okay, um, Skeledurge EX, our first hit. Actually, a Pokemon that has not been released in Pokemon Go yet. Wait, sorry, according to Tom, it has been released. Oh, I don't even have a Foycoco yet. No, I don't, I have, oh, oh no. <laughs> so I don't have any Foycoco, but I do have one Skeledurge. The first ever Skeledurge I've ever gotten. Um, and it's a 96 IV. It's a good, oh no, dude. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, yeah, you're like, you're like, oh, I don't have that. It's not <laughs> something. Oh, Transfer something else. You're getting rid of it. Oh, God, no. Well, here's Skeledurge in Pokemon Go. It's a brand, it was released fairly recently. We, oh, we got it out of a seven kilometer egg in uh, September. Okay, so this is kind of a newer one. Okay, well, we hatched this. It's a good IV. I don't have any others in my entire account. And we pulled it right here. We've got the Skeledurge EX. So Skeledurge and Pokemon Go. Goodbye, my friend. God. All right, that was the first transfer of the day. You know, honestly, it's not, I guess, not terribly bad because uh, Skeledurge isn't like an incredibly melee relevant Pokemon in Pokemon Go. So like, that doesn't hurt as bad as it could, but it definitely was my only one, and that was kind of nice. <gasps> no, that's so cool, though. Wow. Okay, well, we got the Sandy Shocks EX Ancient card. This looks beautiful, and this is essentially like the the pal. What is this? What even region is this? It's the the Paradox Rift version of Magneton. And Magneton, if we look in Pokemon Go, we should absolutely have. I have one, and it's a shiny. Wait, and I've got this Magnemite. That's a hundo. This Magnemite, that's a hundo. And this Magnemite, that's a hundo. Okay, um, so our choice here is either a 100% IV Magnemite or a shiny Mag... Is this all I have? No way. Um, okay, this is... When did I catch this? In 2019? Okay, no, no, no. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this one here that I caught in 2021 just randomly in LA. We're going to evolve it. And while it's evolving, we can actually, like, check out the art on this Sandy Shocks EX. This is so nice. This is such a pretty card. Really cool and really hurting me because there's our shiny Magneton. I will not transfer a hundo because those are more rare than shinies. So we'll transfer the 171 CP. Our first shiny transfer of the day, shiny Magneton. Goodbye. Gone. All right, well, ouch. When it comes to what you can pull in Paradox Rift, there are seven different gold cards. We've got Garchomp EX, Iron Valiant EX, Roaring Moon EX. We got the Beach Court, Counter Catcher, Luxurious Cape. No hit in there. And the Reversal Energy, which is kind of crazy considering there's, I mean, seven gold cards is kind of a lot in a set that also has like alternate arts and art rares and like there's a lot to pull here. And the special illustration rares, which is basically what everyone's looking for. They're the most expensive cards, they're the rarest cards. <sighs> Tissarina EX. Oh god, do I have a Tissarina in my account? Tissarina. Wait, no. I don't think I have any balance with Like, I actually don't think I have this one. Wait. Oh, you can search by the name in the Pokedex now. Oh, it's a Lola region. Balance Suite. Steeny. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever... I don't have any balance Suite in my account. And I've never evolved to Tissarina in the Pokedex. Well, we don't have this Pokemon, so we're gonna go and transfer Shiny. Because I don't have it, instead we'll be transferring a Shiny Weedle from the graveyard. So, Tissarina EX. Ouch. Tissarina brings the pain. That's definitely kind of a common card. Let's hope we don't see any of those. And if we pull a card that I don't have in Pokemon Go, 
I gotta transfer a shiny. Why? I'm making that rule up and it hurts. So it, we, we love pain here. Okay, the special illustration rares that you can pull from Scarlet and Violet, Paldi Evolved, wait, Paldi Evolved, Paradox Rift, there are a ton of them. And they include the Garchomp EX, which, man, that's a pretty cool one. Definitely wanna pull that. Also got the Glossopod EX, which is the coolest Glossopod card you've ever seen in your life, easily. The Tapu Coco EX, love that one, Groudon. Iron Hands EX, Iron Valiant EX, that's the one of the top pulls in the set. Sandy Shocks EX, which, is that what we just pulled? No, it wasn't the SIR. Roaring Moon EX, another top pull. The Gold Dango EX, Iron Moth. Altaria EX, then there's the Trainers. We've got Mela, Parasol Lady, Professor Sada's Vitality, Professor Turo's Scenario, Rika and Tulip SIR. And there's a Larry full art. Dang, bro. So this is another very, very cool looking card. You've got like the Pokeballs and everything behind him. So sick. So painful. So we don't have Larry because he's a trainer. So instead we're going to transfer a shiny Mudkip from 2019. Oh man, that's a calm day when I think. Ugh. Okay. We're, mind you, we're like not even halfway through this box. So again, there's a lot of hits in Paradox Rift, which means a lot of transfers for us. So, generally a painful set to open. Nice. And yeah, so again, there's just a lot of secret illustration rares, a lot of very big chase cards in the set, but when it comes to value, you'd be surprised. The art in the set is very cool. The set itself is very new, but value-wise, nice. The set, it's not really going anything, doing anything crazy. There's definitely some valuable cards and some cards that you're gonna wanna look for pulling, and I'm sure we, if you grade these and get them at a PSA or CGC Pristine 10, they're gonna be worth quite a bit, but, Oh, that's so sick, but no, dude, the Garchomp EX, bro. This technically isn't a shiny Garchomp, okay? But it kind of looks like a shiny Garchomp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this shiny Gibble, we're gonna evolve it, and while it evolves again, we can kind of like look at the beautifulness that is this card. Super cool. There is our Gibite, which we're gonna evolve one more time, 100 candies. Take it to the peak of Garchomp. Hey there, pretty lady. And then get our shiny Garchomp here, and unfortunately due to this card, we're gonna go in 630 CP from 2021. It's our lightest, okay? And we're gonna transfer it. Goodbye, Garchomp. God, and the shiny Garchomp goes. These challenges are the most awkward ones because you just want to pull nothing cool the entire box, which is very against what my Pokemon card morals tell me. Okay, Purloin Lipard, nice. Next pack, please, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Banpour Blitzel, we've got Melting. No, Toad Scroll. Oh God. Okay, I mean, such a cool card, right? The Toad Scroll are rare, which is a Tentacruel, uh, kind of variant tentacruel out of our tentacruels we've got the king a 2016 100 percent iv this is my only 100 percent iv pokemon from the original release year of pokemon go 2016. Uh, we've got the king uh king hanky i caught this in niantic headquarters that's john hanky's favorite pokemon and then we've got this this 2016 lucky named jake these are some like kind of sentimental ones honestly and then obviously we've got some shinies I, dude i'm gonna be real i don't know if i want to transfer any of these actually wait jake come in here so i pulled a... it has my name on it on your get rid of it oh okay that makes it easy all right well it's joking don't it's, gone, it's gone it's okay. gone it's gone boom yeah. jake's been transferred okay. that was jake by the way <laughs> <laughs> All right, next pack, <laughs> Paradox Rift. But it has been a very set, fun set to open up because as you can see, the hit rates are really good for Paradox Rift. So as you're opening, Chen Pao. You'll probably end up finding some pretty cool cards uh, and some good hits, especially if you're getting booster boxes um, because these just obviously are just stacked with packs and hits. Like, no, oh, Altaria EX, like this, God. Okay, when I look at my Altaria, I don't, wait, what is Stacktaria? It doesn't matter, it's like an inside joke on the YouTube channel, I'm transferring, it's fine, we don't need it. All right, Altaria's gone. Hey, finally we didn't have to transfer a shiny, that's a new thing for us in this video. I love that, let's hope that keeps up. All right, Paradox Rift, what do you got for me? Let's see an SIR, right? Bang, no. And then when it comes to my personal chase card in the set, the one that I would really like to get, either the Iron uh, Jugulus, Art rare, which is like the Hydreigon thing. It's like kind of flying over a, uh, flying over like a futuristic city. That one I would love to get. But when it comes to the big hits, the SIRs, it's that Salamence, or what is it called? Roaring Moon EX Secret Illustration Rare, which is what SIR stands for. Gosh, no. What even is a Garganacle? That one's not here, so we're going to the graveyard and we're transferring a shiny. 
uh, Abra instead of a Gargadackle. This is cool though. Check out the art on this. Fantastic. There's obviously the big Pokemon here, but you've got so many other Pokemon around it. You've got Swablu, you got Hopip, you got Dead in an A. There's so many Diglett over, over here as well. Routes. So many. <laughs> Wait, there's a Rockruff in there. Um, so many cool Pokemon just kind of like hiding inside of the Garganackle. So, cool Pokemon. Bit of Nell, Shiny Abra. We'll see you later, friend. Goodbye. And the next pack of Paradox Rift is up. So, let's talk about pricing uh, and about the card values that are coming out of this set. Because again, there are some pretty valuable cards to pull, but, ugh, God. Age of Slash EX, no. Age of Slash, that's not even in Pokemon Go, is it? Not in Pokemon Go yet. Shiny Skarmory is now transferred. Goodbye. I'm becoming numb to shiny transfers. Dude, that's the one thing about opening these new Scarlet and Violet sets is that there's a lot of Pokemon that have not been released yet. So, eh, this new rule hurts, man. But there are some valuable cards in this set that you're going to want to look out for. And if we pull any of them today, I will definitely be grading them, which I'm actually... Kind of excited to see what these come back at. Very curious about Scarlet and Violet quality. Okay, top cards to pull. The number 10 most expensive is the Parasol Lady Secret Illustration Rare. That card, ungraded right now, is selling for around $29, which is kind of interesting because in Japanese, in the, uh, the Japanese set for Paradox Rift released first, it always releases first in Japan. Uh, the Parasol Lady S-A-R in Japanese was actually a pretty expensive card. Uh, I don't know where its price is at now, but in English, $29 ungraded, 10th most expensive, which is followed by the Garchomp EX Secret Illustration Rare, actually, which looks incredible. That one also selling for around $29. Then we've got the Tulip Secret Illustration Rare. I think that one also too. Yeah, that one's also selling for around $29. It's the uh, kind of waifu trainer vibe. So that's been a super big trend in the Pokemon card market lately. So interesting to see that being uh, a $29 card. Again, I think just the problem with the set when it comes to value is that there's so many things to pull. There's like so many trainers and so many Secret Illustration Rares, it's stacked. And that's kind of like how Evolving Skies was and it currently is the most expensive uh, Sword and Shield set. So maybe, Paradox Rift gets some love in the future. Okay, next card in terms of value is Professor Sada's Virality, Vitality? Professor Sada's Vitality S-A-R, uh, which is selling for around $32 ungraded. Also, we have not gotten many hits lately. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I've noticed that and it's been great. Then we've got the Groudon Art Rare, actually, an art rare, not even a secret illustration rare, just the, illust the regular illustration rare, Groudon, coming in at around $36. Then we got the Iron Hands EX secret illustration rare, that one's around $37, followed by the Mela, SIR uh, at $39, which was the most expensive card, like kind of released week, but has since fallen in the ranks. Because then we've got the Goldango EX SIR, uh, something that I have not been able to pull yet out of like the several hundred packs that I've opened. That card is great, and if you uh, hold it above the uh, Gimme Ghoul art rare card, they make like one big art, which is super sick, so. After that, we have the Iron Valiant EX SIR. This card is fantastic. Obviously, it's like a variant uh, Pokemon, so it's kind of like a weird futuristic -y Pokemon that we've sort of seen, but never seen before, but the art itself, very cool. If I'm not mistaken, Tyranitar is also in the art too, so super duper dope. And a card that's selling for about $54 ungraded right now, right out of the pack. Then we've got the most expensive card in Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift, which is the Roaring Moon EX SIR, which is the Salamence, basically like the Salamence alternate art, selling for around, what is it, $81 ungraded. So nothing ungraded over $100, which is kind of a new thing. Typically, we've seen these new sets come out and there's been at least one card over $100 uh, on release week. Oh, so cool. But not this set, but we do get one of the top hits that we just mentioned, Professor Sada's Vitality. This card, again, selling for around $32 ungraded. So that is a huge hit, a super duper cool thing to see, and a really fun card to pull, especially as we're talking about like the most expensive cards. Nice! So this box, right in the last three packs, did have something amazing for us. Okay, and we've got a Palmont and a small of inside of this. So instead of transferring a shiny, let's see if we can transfer a Palmot or a small of. We've got, no, please have a small of, please have a small of. Nope, we're transferring a shiny. Okay, it's a trainer. It's a secret illustration rare trainer, which is really nice. And we've got a shiny Sandshrew with uh, Sada's name on it. Oh, goodbye. Worth it though for pulling this amazing, amazing card with such great art. Look like the eyes have like a reflection on it. That looks crazy. So cool, dude. All right, pulled one of the top cards. We'll talk about pulling one of the top cards. That's exactly what we like to see. Can we do it again, though? We have not seen a gold card today. That would probably equate to another shiny transfer, but I'd be down if we get it. Bang. God. 
Amaroge EX, not in the game yet. We've got Shiny Torchic. Goodbye, my friend. Ah. And then the last pack here for the Paradox Rift Booster Box. Let's see if we have to transfer anything crazy. Thank you very much for watching the video today. Really appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the challenge, and enjoyed my pain, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more amazing videos coming soon. Oh, the Joltik Art Rare. And check out mysticgrips.com if you want to pick up some of uh, this Paradox Rift set for yourself. We're selling that there along with a bunch of other amazing things. Joltik, do I have a Joltik? That seems like a very niche Pokemon to have in the account. Joltik, Jolly Moly, we've got... Oh, I do, I do have a couple. Wait, look at this one. Dude, this Joltik, a random one from 2020, never got transferred. Fantastic! That one's done. No shinies on the last one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out!